are a concern, particularly in the wake of the bushfire crisis. With shelves stripped bare, two million Australians, Australians could find themselves unemployed in the coming months. And New South Wales and Victoria there are many businesses in the tourism sector that can't last. To protect Australians, their safety. I'm ecstatic, to be honest. It's an absolute dream of, of a machine. The carriage was uh, built in 1942 on the remains of a, uh, an earlier sleeping carriage that was burnt out in a fire. So it was decided, because it was such an important train, that it was worth preserving. This year, we celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Western Endeavour's historic journey. For the people of New South Wales, the introduction of the railways meant two things. Really pleased to advise that the locomotive has passed with flying colours uh, and will proceed on to the next steps of its network registration and full commissioning now. It's exciting to see the loop line back open again. I'm having the best day in my life. In 1933, sleeping car number eight was recoded BAM-1 and was turned into an observation and accommodation car. One of the main reasons to carry out all that stabilisation work was to allow us to safely move the carriage by road. We used a crane to load it onto two trucks and we transported it from Broadmeadow down to Chalora. And here it is now, safely undercover for the first time in 40 years. It's my pleasure to announce the successful recipients of the 2020 Transport Heritage Grants Program. Thank you to the New South Wales oh, Government. Oh, 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 oh.